Virgo, it's me, Magic D Magician Tarot. I'm coming at you live from the earthly realm, reaching out to the higher realms for important information for this day, Tuesday, October 30th, 2018. This is a quickie daily tarot update for you guys. We're going to see what's going on with y'all. My Virgos, this day. Welcome back. You're back if you're brand new. Thank you for joining me today. That's what's going on. Okay, two swords in reverse. Having made a decision or not having made a decision yet. But not facing the decision. Okay, judgment card. This is good. Okay, leaving a decision up to fate. Focusing on work. Just keep your head down. You're deciding maybe not to continue to press something with someone or maybe allow them to be the one to make the decision or just kind of taking a back seat in your own life a little bit. Okay, but definitely wanting to go forward with something or someone yearning for something. And I'm looking now, waiting for, maybe you guys are actually taking a physical trip today and waiting for like a bus or something. Okay, new opportunities in work. All right, lots of pentacles here for you guys. Knight of pentacles. So new paycheck probably came today, definitely. And now you're thinking, where am I going to invest this money? Maybe keep it in your pocket, Virgo. For once in your life. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so yeah, some of you guys may be a little bit of a shopaholic. Uh, do not move forward with a huge trip or a huge like expense that you're considering. Continue to allow yourself to daydream about it because you do have this new opportunity, this new job. Something is coming to fruition from your hard work and you are moving forward in your career. However, it's not the time to put down your burden. You are still continuing to build the funds for that. And then, of course, my Virgos, you got a little bit of a Leo issue or a problem with really looking at your own strengths, focusing probably on your weaknesses for whatever reason, okay? And then the Sun card here and the Ten of Swords. Okay, so still kind of feeling like you have this wish for a union, for a marriage, for a partnership that's going to last, but... You don't feel competitive in that realm. You don't feel like anybody would want to settle down with you for some kind of reason. And you have a hard time letting go of that victim mentality. Oh, woe is me, always a bridesmaid, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you have to let that go. You really, really do. Okay? And then it comes. Here we go. I don't want to be in a relationship. Shut up. Okay? You do want to be in a relationship. Here you are, smug. You're like, I'm just focusing on me. I'm doing me. Okay, that's great. You're working hard and everything like that, but you still have a secret wish for a union, for a relationship, probably with this freaking Leo. So if you have to get things going a little bit, if you have to be competitive, um, you have two tens here. Okay, you and this person can both together be the most, like explosive sexuality, great chemistry you may have known this person for a very long time or you really need to be careful if you do end up hooking up with them that you use protection okay and then there's also going to be an outpouring of love so are you fearful of this connection because too much vulnerability would be involved it's kind of looking like that and then you may feel like you lost your chance with them but I don't think that that's so. I think you still have plenty of opportunity with them. You have two aces. You have two tens. So 21, 21, 2021. You and this person may have a date with destiny in 2020, 2021, if it doesn't happen yet. Okay, you may need to still work together. Or you may be building a project that's going to come to fruition, to, uh, fruition at that time. So, like I said, this is your daily. So I'm going to give you a little bit of advice just for this day. Okay, I see a lot of really good stuff here. The work is going well. 
You're still harboring a secret wish of union with someone else, but continue to feel like you need to do more work on yourself, more improvement on yourself, more time with yourself, and that you're not willing to compete for this person's love. However, there is an Ace of Cup opportunity. Ace of Cups uh, there for you guys. Okay, infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life. Got your money right. Now get your mind right. Okay. Uh, two completions not yet at hand because you're refusing to fight for them if this is meant to be an exchange with this leah because they are in reverse here so if it's not you trying to get in touch with your inner strength you trying to love yourself more then it could be like i said the secret wish for this relationship with this person you're gonna need to go for it even if it is destined to end in heartbreak because that is part of life Okay, break and trail, breakthrough is at hand. This is good. So for those of you who are single, who are sticking to your guns, who are like, I don't need no man, I don't need no woman, I don't need no person to hold me at night, I hold myself, no, 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 y'all hugging yourself, whatever, hug yourself. But you need to break trail. You need to have a breakthrough emotionally. Some of you guys in therapy, this is the day to do that. Or... You need to have the uh, take the take the gag out, take the ball gag out, and tell the truth of your love for this person because you have a secret wish. Like if you're worried that they're going to shut you down, I would not be worried about that. However, if it is meant to be a temporary union, a lesson, some sort of karmic thing test of your judgment then that is what it's going to need to be okay because i see a story here where if you do move forward with this relationship with this leo it's going to test you you're going to need to compete with someone else for their love but you love them you just really do love them so let's see how, how does this leo feel about my virgo if it's not a Leo, then how, what is the key to this Virgo's coming to self-love? Okay, we have a seven and a four here. Um, four of wands, seven of cups. So like I said, there's some sort of thing up you guys have about a lifetime partnership. Why does my Leo feel like, or why does my Virgo feel like lifetime partnership is not a thing for them? Let's figure it out. You gotta break through, gotta get over that because infinite abundance is at hand. Okay. <sighs> having trouble coming forth with the truth, having trouble being the one to initiate romantic um, rendezvous and exchanges, my Virgo. A little bit of stalking them online too much and not just coming forward and saying, hey, okay, maybe with the hour that you took to stalk them online. You could take five seconds to shoot them a text. Okay? I don't know. Sue me. All right. Love y'all. Take it easy. Magic Team Edition Tarot. Like, share, and subscribe below. Y'all already know Virgo got love for you.